Hello everyone, happy to see you here. Welcome back to my channel, Higher Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation, a cubed minus a squared equal to 18. We need to solve this question for a, so if you have your solution, your approach, your answer, you can write your solution in the comments below and then we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, let's subtract 18, okay? As a result, we have a really great cubic equation. So a cubed minus a squared minus 18 is equal to zero. So basically this is a cubic equation. We have the third power, we have the second power, it doesn't matter. Basically we have the third power. So this is our uh, cubic equation. And everything is up to you. How can you prefer how can you prefer solve this question? Like yeah, with the Cardano formulas. I just want you to solve this really important uh, in and great trick. First of all, a equal to three right here is a factor. So just keep in mind that a minus three is a factor to this question. So basically instead of this a square, I just want to write the next expression. So a cube minus instead of a square I just want to write minus 3 a square plus 2 a square okay so instead of this a square I just want to write uh, this expression because this expression when we add it equal to minus a square a square so basically it changed nothing okay what we're gonna do next we don't have expression with a but I just want to write minus 6 a plus 6a. Okay, we don't have expression with a and basically we can easily cancel it, but in the same way this expression helps us a lot. Of course it's equal to 0, but then we can easily we can easily factor a minus 3. And we have minus 18 equal to 0. And right now that's why I do this. I just want to group these two expressions. So this first expression I just want to group with this one, I just want to group with this one, and right now let's see what will happen when I group these expressions because basically I just change nothing I just want to see I just want you to see that we have right here minus x square instead of this one with if we have zero right here so basically we have the same expression that we have in the beginning a cube minus a square uh, and minus 18 we don't have this uh, zero right but right now let's group it so we have a, a cube minus 3a square I just want to group it the next thing we have plus 2a square minus 6a so plus 2a square minus 6a and we have plus 6a minus 18 6a minus 18 so as you can see I just I just group it but right now let's scan what expression do we have in our parentheses a cube minus 3a square we can easily factor from here our a square yeah we have factor a square and in parentheses we have a minus 3 yeah a minus 3 plus right here we can easily factor 2a 2a we have a minus 3 and plus, right here we can easily factor 6, and we have the same a minus minus 3, equal to equal to 0. Right now, let's see what, what we have. We have a minus 3, we have a minus 3, and we have a minus 3. So we can easily factor this a minus 3, we can easily factor it as a common. So as a result, we have a minus 3, and in another parenthesis, we have a square plus 2a and plus 6. Yeah, We have a square plus 2a and plus 6 is equal to is equal to 0. Right now a product of two parentheses is equal to 0 when the first parenthesis is equal to 0, so a minus 3 is equal to 0. From here our a first is equal to 3, so this is our first like branch, a first equal to 3, or the second parenthesis is equal to 0. So from here we can easily write our quadratic equation. This is basic quadratic equation, so a square plus 2a plus 6 is equal to is equal to zero and let's solve it with the basic method of uh, basic method of coefficients yeah so let's do this our a is equal to one b is equal to two and c is equal to is equal to six so basic method of coefficients first of all let's find out a discriminant real quick so b square minus four ac so let's plug in each of these elements into this into this spot b square two square minus four times a times one times times 6. From here we have 4 minus 4 times 6, we have a 24. So our discriminant is negative, equal to minus 20. So it means that in this branch we will have like two, uh, two complex roots. So let's solve it. Uh, here's our mm, formula, a second and a third, this is our identity, equal to minus b plus minus square root of discriminant and all over all over to a. So let's plug in each of these elements, you know everything, let's plug in into this into this spot. So we have minus b, we have minus 2, minus 2, plus minus square root of discriminant square root of minus 20, and we're gonna divide it by 2 times 2 times 1, equal to 
Okay, how can we simplify it? First of all, we can easily express this minus 20 as 4 times minus 5. So let's do this. So we have minus 2 plus minus. Instead of this square root of minus 20, I just want to write this one. I just want to write 4 times minus 5. Let's do this right now. Let's write it in this way. 4 times minus 5. And we're going to divide it by, by 2. Right now we need to know a really important uh, property. We can easily split this square root sign. We can write it as we can uh, instead of square root of a uh, a times b we can write as square root of a times square root of times square root of b okay we can easily split it so right now let's apply this property right here we have minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 times square root of minus minus 5 all over all over 2 square root of 4 is equal to uh, 2 yeah so as a result we have minus 2 plus minus 2, but this square root of minus 5 we can easily write with the, with the imaginary unit. We can easily split it like square root of minus 1 times 5 with the same logic and all over, all over 2, yeah? And right now according to the same property we can easily split it like minus 1 plus minus 2 square root of minus 1 square root of minus 1 times square root of square root of 5. We can easily split it like that and all over all over 2. But this square root of minus 1, this is our imaginary unit, this is our i, so as a result we can write it as minus 2 plus minus 2i square root of square root of 5, yeah? And all over 2. And the final tricky move, we can easily divide our numerator by 2, yeah? As a result we can easily uh, write it as minus 2 over 2, plus minus 2i square root of 5 over 2. This is our common denominator, we can easily uh, split it like that, and from here we can easily cancel this 2, equal to minus 1. From here we can cancel this 2 as well, plus minus i square root of 5. Minus 1, plus minus i square root of i square root of 5. And let's write our final answer to this question. We solve this question completely. Let's write it right here on the left side, for example. So our answer our answer to this question. So a first equal to 3, a first equal to 3. This is our real number root. We're going to check it a little bit later. A second, let's write with the, with the positive sign, for example, minus 1 plus i square root of 5, minus 1 plus i square root of 5. This is our first complex root and the third one, uh, second, sorry, overall we have the third one. So minus 1 minus i square root of square root of 5. So these two roots are complex root, this one is real number uh, real number root, and let's check real quick our uh, a first equal to 3 on the bottom right here, for example, so check, prove, so we check, let's check a first equal to equal to 3, our equation looks like that, so we have a cube minus a square equal to 18, from here what do we have, 3 cube minus 3 square equal to 18, which is correct, because we have 27 minus 9, equal to 18. So our root is absolutely uh, our root is absolutely correct. Yeah, 27 minus 9 equal to 18. And we have two, uh, two complex roots. So I really hope you understand my solution. So it's not like a, a hard question, but I just want you to uh, see the solution. So first of all, this is my method, my tricky method, because at this place, I just see that a equal to 3 is a factor. So that's why I just keep in mind that a minus 3 we can easily factor from here. Yeah. And that's why I do these two tricky moves. First of all, I just uh, write this a, Q, a square as minus 3a square plus 2a square because I see that from here I can factor a minus 3. And I do the same thing with this one. With this 2a square, I just wanted to express this 0 because we don't have expression with a. I just want to express it as minus 6a plus 6a because from here, from this pair, I can easily factor a minus 3. Okay, so this is like a tricky move, but I just, I don't want to solve this question with the Cardano formulas, because this is like a long, and I would say like classic method, I just recommend you to uh, to do this tricky method sometimes, it's not like you can't solve every time with this, with this method, when you have an integer solution, when you see this root by inspection, you can group it, you can, you can combine all these expressions, and you can easily factor this a minus 3, because 
a equal to 3 as a factor. So you can, with 100% probability, you can factor a minus 3 with this, with this tricky method. So if you don't understand it, you can also solve this question with the Cardano method, but I, I, I think with 100% probability you understand this. Uh, this step, a tricky move, I, I don't, I'm not sure that your teacher explained you uh, this, uh, this tricky method, because maybe you're like learn a classic Cardano method, yeah, and with the Cardano method you can also solve this question, but this like much faster method with, with the three lines you can easily solve this cubic equation. So a few thoughts about this method, and we have two branches, first branch a equal to three, second branch also we have two uh, two complex roots, so I really hope you understand uh, you understand this solution. And you can also write your thoughts down in the comment section. Right now we can see a graph. You can see this like from geometric perspective, which is also really great because sometimes it's it's really great to see this question from geometric perspective. And in the same way, you can see uh, how many points of intersection do you have in your question? Because you know sometimes when you have like um, one point of intersection, it proves that you solve this question correctly because one point of intersection and one real number root it means that everything is great but when you have like two points of intersection and one root then you you did you did something wrong in this in this question so it's my thoughts about this question i really hope you understand this solution i really hope you you learn something new i really hope you understand um, how can we solve this type of question how can we solve this uh, cubic equation with this with this tricky method yeah so it's not a classic method but with few tricks one to three line when you keep in mind that a minus three is a factor it's just about experience, you know. You 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 just need to solve like five, ten cubic equation with this with this tricky method, and then you can be easily be proud of yourself because you can easily um, spend less time solving this uh, this cubic equation. One, two, three line, and you factor it. Yeah. So it's also it's also really great without Cardano method, which which is a great method, but sometimes it's a longer method. If you don't have enough time, you need to you need to find alternative ways. How can we? Mm, solve this question yeah so thank you very much for your time take care of yourself have a great day write your thoughts write your notes about this question in the comments below it's really interesting to exchange information and see you in the next videos have a great day take care of yourself